me. Pardon me. Pardon me. Pardon me. I beg your pardon. I beg yours, sir. I have this to say to the modern young girl, gentlemen. Be free. Express yourself. Take your life in your own hands and mold it. The world will try to rob you of your freedom, but fight for it. It's all you have to live for. Oh, that Just is... relax. Sir. That's all for the modern girl, gentlemen. What else? Ask me anything. Have you started a new book, Miss Adams? Well, no, I haven't, but I have it pretty well in mind. Oh, would you care to say something about it? I'd then? love to. It's about how love came to a girl in a small New England town. Outwardly, she seemed to belong to that narrow, benighted, a little community, but in her heart she longed to be called Baby. Out of the great big city there came to this little hamlet the man who did call her Baby. Um, from there on, gentlemen, the story warms up. Oh, uh, Miss Adams. Just relax, sister. I haven't quite finished it yet, but I guarantee it for interest, if you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, would that be the story of your life, Miss Adams? Oh, well, I shouldn't wonder. And uh, who would the man be? The man? Oh, now, come now, gentlemen. A lady's entitled to one secret. Miss Adams. Oh, just relax. And by the way, Miss Adams, is this Michael Grant's apartment? Michael Grant, did you? Uh, well, yes, this is Michael Grant's apartment. I was just getting to that. It's a very interesting story, gentlemen. Oh, Uncle John, Uncle John, come in. Mr. John Lynn, the gentleman of the press. Uh, Uncle limps a little with a gal, brought it on himself. The only Lynn I'm proud of. Theodora, uh, may I have a word in private with you? Oh, certainly. I'm afraid that's all for today, gentlemen. Well, but what about Grant in this apartment? You were going to tell us the story about that. Has Grant anything to do with the big bad man from the city who called you baby? Uh, well, now, couldn't we save that until tomorrow? But don't be far off, will you? No, no, no. Well, no, 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 Theodora, you're terrific. Uh, uh, it's just about what you'd planned for me, isn't it, darling? <laughs> you exceed my wildest hopes. Do you know what your aunts were? Those two delightful old relics? <laughs> now what? Theodora's gone wild. Oh, tut, tut, I haven't started. Now, just tell me this. Is everything all right? <laughs> Fine. Feet on the ground? Both feet. I knew it. A Lynn may go wild, but never silly. No. Do you mind telling your nosy old uncle what made all this happen, eh? Huh? Uh, what makes the world go round, darling? Say no more. I think I just saw the rascal. That's the guy that banged the door on the way out. Oh, oh he'll come back. Uh, how's Adelaide? Uh, it's about time to send her up to that home. Oh, then she's going this week. And I'm going to tell that funny little old husband of hers that he's going to be a papa. Good. But now, how about us going out and painting the town red? I'm ready and raring to go. When do we start? That's the next thing on the program.